to welcome our next guest on today's show, Kyle Lichty from Gus Macker Jackson. How hey, you doing? Hey, Good Kyle. morning, Kyle. Nice to see you too. You ready for the season? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, as you know, like any event takes so much time to plan. So sure. I feel like we've been working on it for eight months already. <laughs> <laughs> so so Jackson's fun. really become uh, one of the feature, feature tournaments yeah, on the Gus uh -huh. Macker uh, schedule. Talk a little bit about uh, kind of the development of the of the Gus Macker in Jackson and kind of where we are today. Yeah, so one of the things that's unique about Macker, there is a corporate organization based out of Belding, basically mm -hmm. like a eight person business. Okay. And then different cities or random people like me, you know, raise <laughs> their hand and say, hey, we want to bring the tournament to town. So back in 2017, reached out to Jessica Webb and when she was at Experience Jackson and the visitors were like, absolutely, let's get this to town. Nice. And uh, so with that, Mackers across the nation are hosted by chambers, visitors bureaus, like the Red Cross, different nonprofits like mm -hmm. that. So for us, because it's kind of independently run, um, we all run it as volunteers. We just want to put together, you know, a robust, fun yeah. event. Um, so it's kind of cool that we have a lot of creative freedom to do so. Yeah, it's just uh, it's a great event downtown. And, you know, when it was here in the 90s after, you know, and then taking a couple decades off, it's just it's a perfect it was a perfect time to bring it back. But uh, Gus Mackers really noticed Jackson, right? Yeah, so that's a big thing, too. So 2021 was the first year that Gus himself was actually at the event. Oh, wow. And, you know, her, had a lot of great feedback in this past year. I also went around and, like, checked out some of the other tournaments, you know, compared to, like, a participant, just, like, administratively, what issues are other people dealing okay. with and how can we expand creatively. Um, so when Gus saw it, he started drinking the Kool-Aid right away. And, of course, like, the community's so supportive like everyone just walking up and giving the staff coffee and Aww. you know making sure they're having a nice day at the hotels i'm like nice. that really is a pretty powerful thing to see firsthand yeah. compared to me like telling people to go yeah. <laughs> you know make them feel welcome mm -hmm. you just saw the full support of the community come downtown so i need you to back up now because you mentioned now so mm -hmm. gus macker is an actual individual can you give us a little history on him and how it came to be at all yeah so scott mcneil and his brother started a I believe it was a two-on-two -two game in his driveway back in <laughs> the 70s or real early 80s and put a couple dollars in the pot then grew to the street then grew to some tournaments used to have over 2,000 courts in play, which wow. is remarkable. Um, so you think at, of Ludington as like the biggest in the nation now with around 700, 800 teams. Wow. I mean, there were teams that had five to 10 times that amount oh my gosh. before. It's crazy. What's, uh, what's the weekend look like in uh, July here, Kyle? Yeah, so we're actually adding something this year that we're kind of stealing it away from the corporate office, but we're adding the Macker Hacker golf outing nice. on the 20th. So we're gonna be doing that That's at Calderon. Um, have a $2,000 skins pot just for registering. Wow. Um, a car giveaway from Art Main for a hole in one. Cardinal Insurance doing 10 grand if you hit a hole in one on another hole. Nice. Looking to do some like Macker type prizes cool. throughout that event. Just you know, just to be different than a normal golf outing. Nice. Um, so that's really when it kicks off. Then Thursday, we'll get to some of the behind the scenes setup. Okay. Friday, more of the invasive uh, setup with different activities okay. starting Friday night. So we have our Heroes Tournament from County National Bank on mm -hmm. Friday. We might be adding a teacher's tournament as well. Oh, so I thought it'd be cool, you know, get, you know, if you're science teachers coming, you're gonna go downtown to yeah. root them, you know, to root yeah. them on, so. Looking to add that then full on, three on three, uh, three game minimum for all divisions Saturday oh and gosh. Sunday. That's so awesome. fun. And the dates again, the tournament is July 22nd, 23rd, the 24th? 23rd and 24th oh, are traditional Macker gameplay, okay. but festivities begin the 20th. Nice. Yeah, and uh, you want to be down here for the dunk contest. That's my favorite. Yeah, and that's actually one of the big changes this year. Uh, we have interns help plan the event, and one of our interns has never been to Jackson before. Oh. And he was just wa walking through a, about a, two months ago. He's like, why, why do we have the adults by the park and not the kids? Don't know, man. Let's flip it all yeah. around. Yeah. So we're actually shifting the event completely, that there's going to be the kid and youth tournament uh, 
gameplay happening closer to Blackman Park. Oh, okay. nice. So right in front of you is going to be the top menace division in the dunk contest. Oh, nice. fine. So compared to having that in the minute in the middle of the intersection, top men's going to be right in front of JTV, the Rocket Lab. Nice. Cool. So That'll kinda, be awesome. Yeah. Different, different vibe. Good. We'll have to invite people up to our uh, luxury suite to watch. That'll Absolutely. Be a, that'll be a lot of fun. So, can well, I come? You can. Yeah, you can. So, uh, what's your favorite part of the weekend? I mean, I, I, one of my favorite parts is watching you run around. Yeah. I think sure. you asked me for a hacksaw last year. Uh, yeah, hacksaw <laughs> or bull cut. Yeah, hacksaw. It was a hacksaw. Oh, my gosh. Um, it, the funny thing is, this event is a breeze when it actually happens. Because, okay. like, we have volunteers, Macker has her own staff. I basically just, like, hang out and play basketball and just, like, talk to kids and families once we get past, like, 11 a.m. on Saturday. Yeah. So once we, you know, once registration is done, like, registration seems like that's where a lot can go wrong, you know, if people didn't fill out the wrong, you know, they put the wrong yeah. height, the oh, wrong age, yeah. something like that. So once we get through that, it's pretty chill. And then when it gets to Sunday morning, then you get the parents of 12-year-old girls starting to be a problem yelling at each other. Oh, mm-hmm. gosh. Um, so, you know, as long as the parents, like, we've never had issues with players. So as long as the parents truly of the 11 to 12 and 13 to 14 year old girls, right. girl divisions behave, we'll be fine. He's right. I have an 11 year old daughter. So, it, so I, you're one of no, those parents not, we have to hire security no, for? No, it's not me. It's not me. But it's just something about that age yep. division. It's wild. It? Yeah, that's oh crazy. Oh, my gosh. There's nothing, nothing you can do. Uh, are you still looking for sponsors? Yeah, so this year, the, tur- the basketball tournaments presented by County National Bank, Art Main, and Henry Ford. Uh, so Henry Ford's first year on as a sponsor at nice. all for us, so we're pretty stoked to be partnering with them. Um, but the golf outing is basically wide open, okay. Okay. from whole sponsors to the presenting sponsor. Okay. Also, basketball has quite a few opportunities. Then if you sponsor basketball, you get golf half off. Oh, so nice. that's cool. you get sponsored basketball, get half off a presenting sponsorship for golf. So that's pretty wicked. That's Perfect. very cool. What's the deadline for uh, teams to enter? So it's the 5th of July for basketball. Oh, um, you know, we, there's a week where we got to figure out how big are some of these divisions? Are we splitting? Do, do we want to split a division and try to get more teams? So there's always a little bit of wiggle room right there. But the 5th is the hard date to get in um the golf outing looking to have 36 foursomes for that so nice. once that fills it's full and you said that's at calderon yep nice nice that's the gonna be so uh, fun. when when you first took on kind of this role did you see it becoming as as big as it is and you know kind of talk about the you know the county and the way we've kind of built up around this thing it just seems like a perfect storm yeah like that's one of the things that I really wanted to do. So I used to run another festival in town and it was it was like purely for adults. Mm-hmm. And you really look at it and there's for a athletic type activity and then something that's 70% kids, like it's very unique, you know, in terms of the overall makeup. Cause yeah. it's either you have an event for kids or for adults. You don't see too many where both are the mm-hmm. active participants nice. in it. Um, so with that, you know, we knew that would be the staple then we want to expand creatively to other sports so if we had like one different sport competition or whatever per day of the week you know could be fishing could be golf could be uh my dreams to do like a macker for volleyball and import you know 80 semis worth of sand to like alishar park or something but Uh. you know that's there's a lot of uh resourcing that i'm not prepared to do <laughs> right now for well, that i like one, the vision i think you just put it out there in the universe so maybe now exactly it's come to sand is hard to get did you know that sand. is it oh, it's expensive yep very expensive yeah well twenty one hundred dollars a semi so oh my oh, <laughs> well, on the research <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> how many semis do we need to make that happen uh, I, I calculated if we do a volleyball thing someday it'd be minimally 80. Wow. So, oh stars wow. okay wow. if you want it you know done the right way yeah but But then that resource would be there for the community to enjoy yeah once the tournament's over right yeah well that's you know and that's the thought so like with the basketball tournament yes it is one day the golf outings one day so what could we do that could have a greater Mm -hmm. impact on the community yeah you know but then again i don't own property and i'm not putting up (laughs) 40 volleyball courts well so now the gus macker is uh just fine so absolutely yeah it's a great event uh encourage everyone to get signed up and don't wait too late and if you want to just come hang out, walk around. It is uh, probably the best free entertainment you'll have all summer. Yeah, pretty cool. Something for all ages. Nice. Well, we will pray for a great weather and a wonderful turnout. Absolutely.
Kyle Lick. It's warmer than today. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Kyle Lick D from Gus Macker Jackson. We'll be right back. Dan Macknick will be on the morning show.